and we're back to learning to code this time i'm going to show you a simple coin flipper that i've created using notepad you can see there is a front and a back side which is dollar or bitcoin it says what you've won when you've clicked on it clicks are counted bitcoins and dollars are counted and you can reset it that's also a little bit of an animation Then let's go over this, there's the basic HTML outline. I will start here with the body. Here's our button, reset button. By the way, I'm not going to code this in real time. I just make too many typos. So you may want to pause the video here and there and try to understand the code line by line. Here are our counters. All of them were given an ID. So click count, Bitcoin count and dollar count. We use it later on in our JavaScript. There is a general container and above it is the H1, our headline Bitcoin or dollar. Inside of the coin container we have our coin which is front and back. You could make it heads or tails but I've decided to make it Bitcoin or dollar. And as a result that's going to be shown which is our paragraph. By default it's empty but we'll give it value depending on what side of the coin is shown click to flip you can see it right here below the image but it's part of our coin container and the two images front and back are bitcoin and dollar as a source i've used svgs i've downloaded them you can for example go to svg repo find some here's my index and inside of it i've got an img folder and there's the bitcoin and the dollar coin both are as i've said svgs So we need dollar coin bitcoin dot svg inside of the img folder and both were given an id that we're going to use in javascript both have a nested diff for front and back let's go over the css i think this is easy stuff the first parts are just for styling once again, pause the video if it's too fast. And if you're a beginner, you may want to code this line by line. Here's front and back. So we've targeted our elements by ID primarily. And I think that the keyframes may be a little bit more, I don't want to say advanced, but this is not beginner stuff anymore. We have a spinning class and we are going to add that to our elements. When we click on them, keyframes determine the rotation. And if I adjust the time here, I don't know, let me use maybe like two seconds. You can now see this is way slower, at least in my browser. And we've added an ease out effect to it. But keep in mind the class spinning, we're going to add that later on using JavaScript. And here we are in our script. At first I've created variables and attached them to our elements. We've gotten them all by ID. For example, here's the reset button variable. It uses the ID with the element reset button. Here's back and front, the click count, Bitcoin count, dollar count. So it is always the same formatting. Create a variable and then use document.getElementById and use the ID that we are given, that we have given to these elements in the HTML body. We have three values. We have to initialize them, setting them to zero, which is clicks, bitcoins, and dollars. I've created a flag right here. So when an animation is currently running, we don't want to have the user be able to click on it again. So we've created a simple flag. It is flipping. We've set it to false in the beginning. Then we have our flip coin function. Let's just assume we click on our coin, then is flipping is set to true then. And here is our class spinning. We want to add that class now to our coin. So coin.classList.add. We use the spinning class. And here is the coin ID, this container that nested front and back.
We use math.random, which generates a number between 0 and 1, and it's a random number. And then we want to check, is it a Bitcoin or not? And if this is, so if our random number is below 0 0.5, it is Bitcoin. Above it, it's going to be dollar. This is what this code line says or does. And below it in our result text, we have to check is Bitcoin. So if it is below 0 0.5, is Bitcoin would be true. And therefore we got a Bitcoin. If it isn't, it would be false. And therefore we got a dollar. And this text would then be displayed. For every click, we want to increase the total clicks. So incrementation by one. And we have to, you could say, translate our numerical value into text so that it is displayed. Then we have the dollar and the Bitcoin counters. And we have to increase them depending on what is Bitcoin currently is. So once again, if it's below 0 0.5, is Bitcoin would be true. And therefore, Bitcoins would be incremented by one. We've translated this into text. And we show the coin image Bitcoin.svg. And else, let's say value of 0 0.7 was generated by math random. Therefore, is Bitcoin is false. Else will be shown here. This will increase dollars by one and show the dollar icon or the dollar coin SVG. We obviously want to display our text, the result text, which is either you got a Bitcoin or you got a dollar. And then we want to remove the spinning class afterwards. So once our animation has been finished, we'll remove that class and we'll reset the flag. But we can't do it directly because that will mess up our code. So we have to set a timeout here. And this is what these numbers are for. It's a little bit of a delay, you could say. Here's our event listener. We want to have our flip coin function only run when we click on our coin. And this was the element that nested front and back. And finally, we have our reset button. When this is clicked right here, we want to reset our three counters. We'll have to use text content for each. And we'll have to get rid of our text content, the results up here, and set the display to none. And this is where all of this works. If you want to get access to this code directly, you can do so on my code pen. I've uploaded it right here. I haven't yet figured out how you can upload images to CodePen. I believe you have to have kind of like a premium account. So my images here are empty. Under HTML, you can see that coin front and back are just empty sources. Therefore, an alt text is shown. But all of the counters, they work. See below. And even the result text, you got a dollar is shown. Reset also works. Here's the CSS. And below the JavaScript part, it's public. So you should be able to access that. Try to recode it and then check this code pan. If there are issues with accessing the code, let me know. I'm relatively new to using code pan, but I think I've done it correctly so that you should find it via the link below. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.